today, part number three of the Midwest Angler Podcast with James Van Veldhuizen. This is In Through the Outdoors, and I'm your guide, Chase and Walter. Jim Woolswinkle and James Van Veldhuizen fell through the ice on Lake Okoboji. Here's the final account from a survivor. When I busted that latch and came out under the ice, I do remember thinking, okay, God, this is it. I started swimming, and I ran right into the side of that RTV that was hanging vertically from the surface. And all I could hear was voices over there. And they were trying to get Jim Wolfswinkle out. And they did end up getting him out, not realizing that there was a second person there. I remember grabbing a hold of the side of the ice, trying to pull myself up. And you'd go down and you'd come back up and you'd go down, you know, and there was nothing to hang on to. Well, then I remember uh, looking over and seeing that hitch hang there. And I hooked my elbow around that. If I didn't do that, I don't think I could have stayed above water for much longer. But when them guys uh, realized that there was another person, the communication started, which I was starting to, to be honest with you guys, uh, I honestly was preparing to leave. I wasn't going to make it. It was, uh, yeah, <clears throat> it was a moment that, that you know, was closest to uh, as I ever want to be without going. <laughs> An absolutely unbelievable story. Remember, ice is never 100% safe. I want to thank the Midwest Angler Podcast guys, Scott and Matt, for sharing James Van Veldhuizen's story. You need to listen to the entire podcast. You'll find a link on my website at chasenwalter.com. I'm Chase and Walter, and that's In Through the Outdoors. All I ask is that you be safe, and thanks for listening. If you're looking for episodes in print, go to chasenwalter.com and make the trip to Brookings County Outdoor Adventure Center, indoor archery, and gun ranges. They also have rooms to rent for your special event. Go to bcoac.org for more info.